you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, we're doing the market talk. So, you know, these come about like three times a week, probably once a day, one after Sunday, uh, Saturday Legends, and probably one regarding Weekend League. Typically, how I'm going to be doing this throughout the year. Now, the market's kind of weird right now, so I was looking at it. It appears that higher overalls are a good time to sell, and lower overalls are a good time to buy. So some things are down, some things are up. It's kind of weird how it's working. Usually most things are up, and most or most things are down. But in this case, it doesn't appear that way. So that's what I'm doing one right now, just to give you guys some little insight on what you guys should be doing right now, because this kind of answers a lot of my... If I don't answer the comments, I'll probably make a video on it. It's typical what it is. So this should answer a lot of your comments that you guys have had. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, smack the sub button, Turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Also, comment down below what you guys think of the market and what your moves are like as of this week and how you plan to go about this. And also, drop a like on the video. Let's get this video to 250 likes. You guys love the market talk, so drop a like. Let's get it going. Now, guys, so you know how I like to run this auction block. Start at the 80s, work our way up. Like I said, low elites, like low, low elites, looking stable. Mid, mid, low elites, looking good buy. And then high elites looking like a, like a, like a sell. So low elites, like low, low elites are up. Like they're, they're, they're typical, if not up. Like I said, these don't move too much. I really could care less for these cards because these are always going to be similar price. If you have them, I'd sell them, but they don't change too much. Like it's not like you could sell them and buy them back tomorrow. Like they won't go down too much more than like maybe 2K. The 82s, 83s. Now 83s, based on this, are going for 27K, 27K, 27K. So these are about standard. 20, the 82s are a little up actually right now. So like I said, low elites don't change too much. Let's go over to the 84 to 85s. These are where I'm more concerned, starting upwards of here. So 84s for 39K are not the best, right? It's not really the best. Again, these are kind of stable, but upwards of here is where I get concerned for like where we can actually talk. So these are actually, so 85s are up. You have 85s that sell them. 84s are pretty stable. Still would sell. Everything, these are considered low elites. 84, 85 down are low elites. Everything after that's where I'm more concerned about. Like right now, as cool as this Fitzmagic card art is, I would not buy that card. I'd probably sell everything here on this page. I don't think they're worth 40k. Some players are. Jamal Adams is worth it. Maybe Frederick. Maybe Byron. But like besides that, I wouldn't really like any cards on this page. Lindsay. But besides that, I'd sell everything here. Now where things starting to get pretty good, and things started to ramp up a little bit in talks is right here. 86, 87. So 86 are actually up. So the 86 are really expensive right now. Some. But then here's what I'm talking about is where Julio Jones is 89k. This might not be the worst time to buy a Julio Jones if you think about it. Julio Jones is due for a card sometime within this month. Whether it be they drop regular season themed diamonds or they, I don't know if they'll do that because they did drop those. Or they drop a team of the week or Mutt Heroes. Julio Jones is due for a card. 89k is pretty cheap for Julio Jones. What's it called? Um, Gilmore's pretty cheap. Ezekiel Elliott 89, 86k. Not too bad. These 86s right here are pretty expensive, but the other, like the more popular 86s that will go up in value, like Julio, Zeke, those guys aren't too expensive. Even Odell's wasn't too expensive when I just saw him before. I mean, of course, now he's going to be up. I don't think Odell's the craziest price either. Let's go check out Odell. Clowney's down, but that's mainly because of Lawrence Taylor. Odell's only 109. Like, these prices aren't horrible for popular name cards. Now, if you have just any standard 86, I'd probably sell right now. Now, let's go over to the 87s. Go on down. 87s are at about 100k right now. Would I recommend that? Probably not, but they're not a horrible price. Overall, I wouldn't recommend many 87s, but Von Miller's down a lot. But that's because the base, the base nats. So remember that. A lot of base nats are down right now because of that pack. The base nat from the house rewards. So if you guys ever wanted a base nat like Patrick Mahomes, Von Miller, or wow, Ramsey went down a ton. Because I should have sold my Ramsey yesterday and then just got the new one. Kind of annoying, but if I ever want to pick up a Von Miller, now would probably be the time. But I don't know if I want to power a Von Miller because I do have Khalil Mack. Pat Mahomes is down sh down a lot too, but I don't plan to keep Mahomes all year. I want to I want a mobile quarterback with escape artist. But a lot of a lot of these are down. Luke Keekley's down. Overall, base nats are down. Now if we head on up the list, 88s, 89s. Not as many base nats here that you can get because you can't get Hopkins out of the pack. You can't get Wagner. You can't get Mack, and you can't get Donald. So they haven't been touched too much. Although they are on the cheaper side right now. If you look, 88s are up. So if you have 88s, sell them. I was buying these for training for like 115, 120 a week ago. So if you guys have them, I'd recommend selling like John Elway, Derek Brooks, Rice, Bruce Matthews. 
Theme diamonds, I don't really, I don't have a stance on them just because theme diamonds are kind of their own thing, you know. Probably won't get too many power ups, kind of their own little program. Now, Michael Strahan, probably a sell. He was going for like 165 before. Larry Allen was going for like 170, 167 too. Marvin Harrison was 170. A lot of these cards are back up right now. Let's see what else we got. Khalil Mack and Donald, in my opinion, are a little lower than they should be. But then again, as we get into this game, they're gonna, there's going to be newer cards that are better than them, as they already are. So, besides Donald, Donald's still top tier. But Mack has Von Miller to worry about. But, you know, he's going to get a new card, so I'm not really too concerned about his price. Now, again, Theme Diamonds, I don't really know how to rank them because should they be up, should they be down? I don't really know. They're kind of one of a kind. Marcus Allen was going for 230. Now he's back at 280. He's, he fluctuates from 200 to 300K all the time. Superstars were the low, these superstars like the 89s for some reason are up, but the 90s are down, which is kind of weird to me in my opinion. I get I don't know if it was the guaranteeds. I don't I think because they would that would technically bring these down too. Now if we head over to the 9091s, John Elway is 260 right now, but that's not that which that was posted not too long ago. He was they were all going for about 270 plus. These cards like a week ago on Legend Saturday, Elway was like 220. Reggie White was like 250. Bruce Matthews, I literally got on video, I'm pretty sure, for 220. Derek Brooks was like 240. Jerry Rice was 250. Let's see what else. Pat Mahomes was. So this is where the flip flop happened. The legends are the legends are up right now, so I'd sell the legends. The superstars are actually down, but they're coming back up because Mahomes was 315 a few days ago, so he's coming back up right now. So for that alone, I probably recommend once they hit back, if they get up to near 400 again, the low superstars sell. The higher superstars, if they get up near 400, sell them again. Cause this is kind of that might be your last opportunity because there's gonna be more quarterbacks coming out Mahomes isn't that overpowered to begin with and now you add in maybe a Vic a Cunningham a McNabb the Steve Young he's gonna start losing a lot of value so I wouldn't recommend holding on to him for too long if Gilmore clears 400k it might be time to sell him I can't because he's not but just quick little recommendation now Willie Brown is back up he was like 390 yesterday not to mention Lawrence Taylor Lawrence Taylor is 450 I got him for 320 I did his set with all the pieces for about 320. And then after that, he was selling for about 370. Obviously, he sells for a little more because you subtract reduction. That's kind of what the set would cost. But he was going for like 370. He's up almost 100K right now. So if you ever want to sell Lawrence Taylor, maybe wait till he gets close to 500K, but don't let it get to Legend Saturday. If you plan to sell Taylor, sell before Saturday. If not, if you want Taylor, wait till Saturday. My personal recommendation right now is to sell those cards I told you and wait till Legend Saturday to buy back some of those cards because they're going to be coming down a lot. McCaffrey was down to 450, 500k, and now he's back up to 800k. A lot of cards are up, some are down. You know, I didn't think the base nats would affect the market this much, but it also could be because it's Wednesday. I always tell you guys, Wednesday is typically the highest cards going to be, minus the house rule rewards. Whatever house rule rewards are, that will bring those cards down. But Wednesday is always going to be the most expensive. Things will probably be just because Wednesday is like far from the Legend Saturday crash, but not close enough to the new Legend Saturday crash. So. It keeps it right in between. I always tell you, Wednesday night is when I like to sell my cards, if I ever sell them. So, personal thing. Low superstars, I definitely sell. Show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. These are, like, crazy expensive right now. I mean, they, don't get me wrong, they're really good cards, but... Odell was literally 230 a few days ago. Now he's 301. DeMarcus Lawrence is 309. Very expensive cards. 90 to 91. Mahomes, if he can get back up to 400, sell them. Gilmore clears 400, sell him. Keekly, I don't even know why people have Gurley for this price. I would have sold Gurley already, in my opinion. Unless you haven't powered up. Don't comment saying, you know, I haven't powered up. If you haven't powered up, keep him. But I wouldn't have kept Gurley for this long. I think Marcus Allen's better. And a new running back's probably going to come in pretty soon, like a Barkley, a Zeke with armbar. Something's coming that's going to top it. There's also Corey Dillon. But quick little, quick little recap like I like to do at the end of these videos. Low elites, sell. Medium high elites, like 84, 85s. Eh, they're kind of stagnant. They can stay. 86 87s sell except for base elites base elites buy base elites are down ezekiel elliott down julio jones down odell beckham jr down bob miller down jalen ramsey down jj watt down all those cards buy the rest of the 87s 88s sell now 90s 91s sell most except for the superstars because those are actually down and the high legends i mean i don't know about young i haven't really watched him too much but lawrence taylor will he go up more possibly but I know by Legend Saturday, he's going to come down again. So he's going to be cheaper than this probably on Saturday. Like I told you, I got him for 320 But guys, overall, that's about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Smash the sub button. Let's keep the grind to 10K going. We're this close to 7K. We're like 300 subscribers away. So we should hit it like in two or three days. You know, things have slowed down a little bit, which was expected. But I still appreciate all the daily support I'm getting.
Guys, if you need, make sure to turn on the noti bell. If you notify every time I post a brand new video that's time sensitive, just like this. When videos like this are posted, sometimes prices change. I don't say I have that much. I don't have that much of an impact over it, but I certainly have a. I have some because people have commented after I made my power videos, power ups shoot up in price that I mentioned. So I have some pull. I mean, a few thousand views. I mean, that kind of a few thousand people is a big difference. There's only 20 on the market, but. It's about it for the video. Make sure to comment down below what you think of the market right now and what's, what's your moves. If you guys have any theories or methods you've been working with right now. And also, let's like the video. Get this video to 250 likes, boys. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.